I just want to eat in a day as I recover from BED. Today I had breakfast at 10.30 a.m. I had one of my childhood favorites, scrambled eggs with veggies and sausage. I also toasted some sprouted green bread and added cheese on top. I was more than satisfied with this meal. At 3.30 p.m. I started to get hungry, so I snacked on some harvest snaps and finished most of the bag. At 5 p.m. I finally had lunch. I had mashed potatoes, grilled chicken, avocado, and plantain. I wasn't too hungry because I snacked earlier, and this meal was pretty big, so I was feeling a little too full afterwards. This meal actually kept me full until 11.30 p.m., but it was late and I didn't feel like cooking, so I just warmed up some milk and had a cup of cookies with it. I was feeling guilty for snacking so much in one day, but I need to remember there's nothing wrong with that, and I don't eat like this every day. How was your day? Remember to follow for more What I Eat in a Day videos. What I eat in a day? I made a Halloween hot chocolate with a ghost and a little moon behind him with a Jaffa cake. And then I dumped in some custard creams. I did attempt to make a breakfast pizza and if you've seen, mine went tits up. My mum's turned out all right. Knacked on some sausages while they were cooking. And then I had a slice of mum's breakfast pizza. This orange juice was refreshing. I'll tag where I got the cut from as well. And you can use my code charlian 15 for money off. For tea, I had some pasta and I will forever thank Corey for getting me into this baby bell hack. Absolutely gorgeous. Look how stunning done in this cheese poll is. Can't even go. After tea, I went to bed and then I took some snacks with me. An orange time out. Can you cope? Some crunchy <laughs> Camera. What I ate in Mexico City, day four. Picked up breakfast from a bunch of street food stalls before heading to Teotihuacan, which is an ancient city about an hour away from Mexico City. When we got there, we tried to eat, but stray dogs kept popping up everywhere, especially this one sweet girl who followed us for a solid hour. But we finally found a spot and we had some chilaquiles, the best and biggest tamal I've ever had, as well as some chili relleno. Also, Miss Girl was on watch the entire time, so we shared a lot of food with her, and in exchange, she was our little tour guide. After about 10 minutes, she was already over it and left, and I already miss her. We checked out the pyramids, which I highly recommend, and then had Back to the city to Torteria Los Cueros, where my friend got this torta. Don't tell anyone, but I snuck one bite and it was one of the best bites I've ever had. For dinner, we went to Mariscos Mi Compa Chava, which was a recommendation from someone we met at a restaurant. They have a bunch of hot sauces you can try, and they gave out this fish taco and broth that tasted so much like this Malaysian dish, Asam Laksa. Had the tuna tostadas, which were not as good as the ones at Contramar, and we got the agua chile verde again and the grilled shrimp, which was truly the star of the show. After that, we went to Lucha Libre and got cheladas and micheladas, which were a highlight for me because the show was really uh, something else. But we got stuffed charles after and that's pretty much it okay bye what i eat in a day as someone who's lost 50 pounds coffee banana protein shake turkey spinach wrap popcorn protein bar Brewer Couch Workout Time Chicken Broccoli Potatoes Water All Day Tuesday update, I did not spend any money today. I almost ordered takeout, but then I was like, you know what girl, you have some food in the fridge. Um, for lunch at work, I had this a salmon rice bowl with cucumber and then pickled veggies that my mom made for me. Um, this nam sausage she gave to me as well. Um, after that, I snacked on some of these chips, which are delicious, but $9. Gosh dang. I had one cracker cheese and salami. And then I had my leftover Popeyes with some leftover mac and cheese, which... Leftover mac and cheese is not it. I put some hot honey on that biscuit and then had this little fruit. Hey, updating what I eat in a day. Before heading into the gym, I had my Oxy Shred Energy drink. When I got home, I made this apples brown sugar oats recipe. So good. Then I made my protein shake, which I have a banana, a scoop of peanut butter, creatine, and then the blessed plant protein. When I got to work, I had one of my meal prep fruit salads, and then I try and force myself to eat a protein bar. For lunch, I always have a microwave meal. This one's great because it has 34 grams of protein in the whole thing, and it's so good. I also buy the Mega Bowls a lot, or I buy the Evol meals. For dinner, this was my meal prep for the week, like a chicken linguine pasta, had a little wine, and then got to end my night with something sweet. 
Why are you in a day when I'm not doing TikTok reviews? So I head down to Swingers and had this banging pepperoni and honey pizza. I took it home and I was so drunk at this point. Honestly, it was just going straight down my pie hole. I was indulging every single bite. Then next morning I had a green smoothie. I'm just trying to have more smoothies now. You know, healthy is well for all that malarkey. Got that straight down my pie hole. Then I went to this famous, like, um, hot dog place in Chelsea Bridge. I was dying gagging to try their hot dogs. So I heard they're, like, phenomenal. So I got it straight down my pie hole. I got a sausage and onions and cheese and whatever it was too good like it was actually really nice like i get it there's always long queues outside of their their little van thing so i was like i must try it then we got the uh, chips with a side of burger sauce i don't really like burger sauce but my boyfriend loves it and i tried it and i actually really like this burger sauce surprisingly and then we just had a little view over the pier it was really nice <laughs> restaurant called toki like rabbit and it was just so well decorated and the food was immaculate i got this cheese pork tonkatsu with curry and look how beautiful the spread is then i took a little strolly stroll with the lion friends and the cacao friends store just to see what cute stuffed animals they had one thing about hongdae is that they're gonna have performers and they in fact did have performers not sure who this group was but they had quite an amount of people watching them and they're performing to nct's make a wish and i would say they did a pretty great job i mean look at the crowd that accumulated like there were people live streaming too and i don't know i think it's so cool that they have like performers and nobody interrupts them and it's just like so normal in hongdae my friend vince and i then went to a photo booth and of course i had to go with the karomi ears next we went to this jeju seafood place um we've been wanting seafood for quite some time and so we kind of went ham definitely don't recommend ordering as much as we did for two people we were so ridiculously full but you can definitely taste the ocean it was so good then ended our day with a waffle ice cream dessert again absolutely amazing thanks for watching this eliza diaries bye hey in a day day in my life i woke up and got to it i've been dousing myself in this magnesium spray from symbiotica it's supposed to help with like stress and stuff um but i went got a coffee did my morning routine i worked i had 12 plans to write this morning so that was the majority of my morning and early afternoon then i went to get more water i get alkaline water from this local place it gets rid of all the shiz that's in our normal water and then i had a protein bar went to the grocery store did a little mini haul and i'm gonna post the haul on a different tiktok made lunch and then i had my greens i like the better days arctic pop or the juicy lime did a little mini cleanup and then got my gym bag ready also got some packages you guys i was not feeling this workout my side eye i was like angry but then i went to the workout and it was so good i had like such a good workout you never regret a workout then i went to true food with a friend i have the macros for my order on my instagram i love having these digestive enzymes for when i go out to eat and stuff and then i had some more work to do i showered Put a ton of oil in my hair and then had a few final snacks watch kardashians and we're going what i eat in a day on a 50 dollar week a grocery budget 
It was a very exciting day because I made bacon chocolate chip cookies, but I still started off my day with a banana protein smoothie, then a banana and peanut butter. I haven't had my typical Lebanese salad in quite a few days now, so it was really good to have it again. I kind of missed it. Then when I headed back to work, I had this a birthday cake Hershey Kiss. It's actually really good, and I really like the sprinkles in it. Then I had a few pieces of kettle corn that we had laying around, and then a few pistachios. Someone from work sent us some Halloween candy, and I had to try these gummy flamingos. Like, I think flamingos are so adorable, and this tasted just like Jello, and I love Jello, so they were so good. After a long walk, I reheated the Greek lemon soup from the other night. I immediately burned my tongue on it, which was not smart of me, but then I tried it again, and it was, of course, delicious. I'm definitely going to be making that again this winter. And then it was time for the bacon chocolate chip cookies, the star of the show, the highlight of my night. This is an incredible combination. I'm going to post the recipe. It was wonderful. It had me dancing around in the kitchen, and that's... Hello, welcome to a full day of food. So I started my day with a bagel with peanut butter and banana as always. But instead I tried these pumpkin spice bagels. They were okay, but they just tasted a bit like a cinnamon and raisin one. So slightly disappointed. I then had leftover enchiladas like tofu, but I made it with pasta and guacamole. I had a snack of some salty popcorn and a coffee. Tea was after the gym, which was salmon, new potato, well, homemade chips and veg. And then this rice pudding pot.